66 this is Lego and I got with me Hove and a Resolute member for our special guest this week, I, Fate Bringer. How's it going, Fate? Good to have you on this show. How's your week been? It's been really well, actually. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure, man. What you what you been up to this week, uh, Destiny-wise? I've been playing a ton of Mayhem. Mayhem everywhere. Dude, I see. I, I keep getting <laughs> invites from Fate this week, too. Like, are you going to play Mayhem tonight? And I'm like, no, oh, no, I should, though, because it's, it's so much fun. I, I feel like me and Fate, we played a couple of games last week like all night it was like a long time playing mayhem round after mayhem round it was i just want to bring up again that was the night you were supposed to invite me and never did uh i mean i fate can attest we were full the whole time right yeah we were yeah lies Lies. fate's got my back he knows what's up it's just because you'll (laughs) kick him off the podcast because you're mean (laughs) oh well my week i got some uh trials runs in this week i feel like i've been getting at least the trial. I'm back on like my D1 schedule, where if anything, I at least have my trials run for a weekend. Uh, and so this weekend, I, I, but every single weekend, it's a seven in one card every time. Like, and I never have it in me because it takes so long nowadays to like restart your, not to restart the card, but to go through a card, you know. And I'm, I'm just like, ah, oh, do I really want to spend the time to go through another one? And so I always just do the seven in one. I'm like, well, at least I'm earning my card, you know, completions for the ornament. And so one day, you know, I'll get back to that flawless in season two. That's because you don't um, invite but... me for that either. <laughs> well, maybe I will this weekend, Hove. What do you say? Maybe I don't want to play. Well, I'll play with Fate. It's fine. Yeah, I'll play with you. <laughs> yes. Hove, how's your week been, man? Uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, Christmas is, was this week, by the way. Yeah, that was a big deal. Uh, we had our, our own special christmas event other than the donning <laughs> the irl event <laughs> i guess um, <laughs> i was like i'm done with you you're so ridiculous i it was good i've been you know still back into playing you know enjoying d2 again uh actually just before this i played with fate and dewey for a little while and i did three strikes in a row what uh-huh. strikes you know, do you do you know what those are? Because I didn't for a long time. <laughs> I know you don't. Um, I know what they are. <laughs> two heroic and a nightfall, and then we just destroyed people in mayhem for like a half an hour. So what what have you been running in mayhem, Hove? Uh gunslinger, a little night stalker. I'm not as much fun with night stalker as a lot of people seem to. I don't know. I just don't care for night stalker that much. Mostly uh, gunslinger on hunter. I mean, Gunslinger's really fun in Mayhem, yes. so... I mean, Mayhem's really fun, just killing everything in general. Um, yeah. I want to play Arc Strider, but, you know, you just die. So, <laughs> yeah. um, and Nova Bomb on Warlock, which has been a lot of fun, too. Uh, yeah. Not the glitch, though. I don't do the glitch. Have you been using the Slova Bomb since they changed it at all, either no. of you? Lame. No, no. It's pretty fun now, because its initial nope. its initial launch speed is, like, pretty fast. I don't know. Nope. That's all, all lies. Um, <laughs> but now, you know, been a good week. Still been playing a lot of PUBG. Played for like five hours today. That was fun before Destiny 2. Um, one more week of nonsense at work till the holidays are over, and then I'll feel like a normal person, and I'll actually yeah, enjoy playing video games again. But it's been you're fun. You're almost there. You're almost there. Fate played with me because he didn't say, like, I'm going to invite you and then not invite me, like some people on this podcast. <laughs> um, so that was a good time, but I hadn't played. Our, our schedules kept not lining up. He'd be like, hey, do you want to play tonight? I'd be like, fuck, I'm at work. Like, maybe tomorrow. And then I wouldn't be able to play. And so it was good to finally get to uh, play with Fate again for a while. And timing was good, you know, podcast yeah, and all. Agreed. Well, for everybody who doesn't know Fate that may be listening on iTunes or in this stream. Fate, we want to get to know you a little bit since we never had you on the cast before. Uh, one of the newer members to Resolute, which we're very glad to have you here. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you feel like is your place in the Destiny community? What can people find you doing? Stomping oh, my place in the... <laughs> <laughs> Stopping everyone, yes. <laughs> No, my place in the Destiny community is I love to play PvP. I we play with everyone, and I like to help people in the in their Twitch streams. I don't stream myself anymore. What a man! But I help people who do stream because I like helping people like go flawless and stuff and win. It's always a good feeling. So you're like a trials carry carrier. 
You like help carry yeah. the carry. Like, <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't feel like fading the guy. You know how like you hear about uh, streamers who are they're like, yeah, I got my buddy who's gonna help me do a trials carry. No, it's like fate is the one. He's like a mercenary. That streamer. Yeah. yeah. He's like a yeah a hired guy who like escorts you, but he doesn't stream. <laughs> so you were saying fate's an escort. That's what I just said. Yes, right. you can quote me on nice. that. <laughs> Uh well what what do you uh what what kind of class what what class do you play in Destiny? What kind of weapons do you like using? Tell me a little bit about your playstyle. Okay, well when Destiny 2 first came out, I told myself I was going to main a hunter, Golden Gun. Uh -huh. And about a week into that, I switched over to Warlock and I was playing a Stormcaller and Dawnblade, like kind of go back and forth in between. And recently ever since Mayhem came out, I just mained a hunter. Like I don't much anymore. <laughs> Like are you still in... running gunslinger then for it? Yeah, I use six shot or six six shooter on the gunslinger. Yeah, it's really fun though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So uh, doing doing trial trials help. What what do you feel like trials is this? You know, I want to get your take on the whole D one moving to D two. How do you how do you feel about D two trials or D two crucible in general? Since you're such a big crucible player. Um, back in D1, in year two, I used to always play, I, I used to like enjoy that play style more than the final update with the fusion grenade meta oh, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, like we didn't have fun with the fusion grenade meta fate. We on, did but... have fun. I definitely <laughs> like had a, yes. I'm pretty sure fun. you taught me the ways of the, the dirty double sun singer, double, double sticky sun singer <laughs> yeah. fate. Yeah, I resorted to that myself to counter it. <laughs> but do PvP much more than the last sandbox update in Destiny 1. Gotcha. So, like, I prefer, like, the year 2, year 1 meta. I like that better than Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. But the last patch, I don't like. Yeah, much. last patch of D1. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, the days of one-hit sticky grenades being the ultimate weapon that... That that was something I'm I'm glad to put behind me for sure. <laughs> I got like Definitely. you know no one uses them as much lately, um, and just today we were playing, you know mayhem and a solar titan stuck me, and I had this like pang of fear. All of a sudden I was like oh, he stuck me mother, and then I was like oh no I'm fine like <laughs> no. cool don't worry about it. I've had that a lot too. The only thing I've been super frustrated by in Crucible lately, and it's only because it's mayhem, is Titan suppression nades, like Defenders suppression. It's just because they last for so you're suppressed for so long, and they get their grenades so quick that you could run a whole game and be like suppressed the entire time because they're just chunking them around every corner. Yeah, um, and so, but good for them. Like that's great. It's a great strategy. So I'm not complaining about it, but it is frustrating when you're like, no, I'm in this game type. To use my super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it was that it was that moment when stickies were the worst too. Like I had the guy dead and he just threw like a sticky. And you remember at the end of D one it was like, I'm gonna die, so let me kill this guy with a sticky. So I was so mad for like half a second and then I was like, ha It's all <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> that oh, that's awesome. And then I think fate probably killed him, because that's what he does. Kills everyone. Yeah, mm -hmm. playing mayhem with fate last week was uh, one of my only, we ran out of medals actually was with him. So I, which I'm surprised that I got because normally fate kills everyone and I don't get a chance to do that, but, <laughs> but we were kind of indestructible for a little while there. I was a little bit upset with him today um, because for some reason it was just by chance. We all had on the stupid crucible emblem with our, you know, your KD oh. <laughs> and like, I'm pretty happy. Like mine's like just under two. You know, I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. almost like a two. Like, I know it's not a KD, it's with assists. And Fate's like, oh, yeah, well, let me put mine on. And I know he's better than me. So I'm thinking, you know, like, two and a half, three with, with assists. 4.5. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's my favorite. One of my favorite things about running with Fate, other than him destroying everyone and winning every game, is whenever there's a tryhard team that has all their emblems showing their 3.0s and face like oh i'm gonna put on mine now you know <laughs> he was like i don't like to have it on because people try harder against you i was like but you have a 4.5 so that means you're gonna kill the whole team at least once before you die like <laughs> that's what that means <laughs> i've never thought about it that way before four kills that, yeah. to every death that's true <laughs>
Uh, well, Faith, what what do you feel about PVE side of things? Do you enjoy that side too, or are you like I just want to get through as fast as I can that way I can play Crucible? I still do every. I do six raids now since there's a new raid, the uh, raid layer. Wow. I always do my yeah. I usually do all my characters, but this last week I haven't since I got all the gear I wanted. So oh, I don't I have see. incentive to play it anymore. So I well, still well, like them though. Well, since you like the raid, this is like my favorite like question to ask any guests on the show. I feel like is like what is if you could rank the raids. How would you rank them from D1 and D2? Oh, okay. Um, Vault of Glass is number one for sure. And then I would say... Classic. All just because it was a challenging raid, mechanically-wise. And then the last raid of Disney one, the Axis one. What's it yeah, that was fun. Yeah. You're at the machine. And then the Callus raid, then the raid lair, and then and Crota's End. Just because Crota's End didn't really ever feel like a raid, it was more of a strike because of how fast you can complete it and you can do it yeah. solo. I guess so. I, I have like a more special place in my heart now for Crota's End just because of the way they redid it and how much fun it was to go back in with those changes they made where actually like half the team picks up swords when they go to the other side of the bridge and that kind of stuff like i don't know it just made it really fun and that was uh, fun i don't know age of triumph era of d1 i love crota yeah you loved it from the get-go mm, yeah i mean it's the one that really got me like when i really jumped into destiny and started yeah. running sword and played it like five six times a night just helping random people yeah because you know you didn't know what an atheon was so I didn't. You had to take did, on you, crota. did you kill atheon this week i don't i don't know did i what's an atheon <laughs> <laughs> Well, with D2 Fate, what's been just your favorite thing about Destiny 2 so far? Like, especially coming from as a D1 player, hardcore D1 player, what's been your favorite, most refreshing thing about Destiny 2? Can be PvE or PvP, anything. I still am not tired of playing PvP. Like, I could still play it with hours on that without getting bored, which is surprising because a lot of people have the opposite opinion because it feels stale to them. Mm hmm. I just what play do you... with people. I don't go solo, so I like, always have people okay. to talk to. I think that's the reason I enjoy it more than others do. You sure it's not because a... you get other people in pub stomp? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> <what's> fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is fun, though, and we've talked about that a lot before, how like community really is Destiny's strongest aspect, and I noticed Triton even doing that for... Uh, he's not here right now, uh, but I know he's a big advocate of that, even for like random PVE things that you need to do that are monotonous that you would do solo. He's like, well, I'm going to get a party chat going and just invite all my friends to it while I run this solo thing. Even if they're not in my fire team, I'm still just going to talk to people and hang out because that's kind of what makes Destiny fun. Well, if he's only inviting friends, though, I mean, he's still running solo, right? <laughs> No, <laughs> I mean I got the invite. I know you didn't. You you and him must not be on good terms right now. We just went out to eat last week. That didn't mean anything. He does that for everybody. When was the last time you went out to eat? With <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, um, I had had something else to say about that though. Uh, well, oh, fate. What what do you feel like is the reason? Uh, like maybe other than party invite and like playing with other people. Do you feel like there's anything else that allows you to enjoy? destiny crucible still and like why you think others might despise it so and say so on twitter so frequently <laughs> um i like changing the loadout a lot um like i don't use the same weapon consistently i always try out new weapons and that kind of adds a new refresher to it mm. so you're telling me you've maintained a 4.5 using a variety of destiny 2 weapons yeah Who are you? True Vanguard. <laughs> that's incredible yeah what i mean that i feel like that goes to tell you like how balanced d2 is and i know there's been a lot of talk of like whether d2 should be balanced or not and what's more fun and whatnot but i personally really like that i can you know i i'm not saying the game should be one way or another but i do like right now that i can like swap up my weapon play style when i get a new weapon that i don't know what it is i can at least try it on and know that i'm not going to get completely stomped with it like every weapon seems to be 
pretty viable in some fashion. There's some way you can win with it. Um, and I think you saying you use a variety of weapons is just a testament to that, you know? So that's one of the things I love about D2 as well. It's just the variety of it. Yeah, for sure. So my question, um, you know, obviously the name Fatebringer, you know, we, we, we get that. <laughs> um, but from what I understand, there's another nickname that you have uh, that, that is sometimes used. Uh, it, the Mom Whisperer. Why don't, why don't you tell us about that? Fate? Can you hear me? Yeah, no, yeah. now we can. Oh, oh, okay. I just had a huge lag spike. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, you know, we know about the name Fatebringer. Uh, we've heard that you've also been called the Mom Whisperer, and we were wondering uh, how that came about. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Hope and I were playing Trials on Anomaly back when I was in college, and we were playing with a child. His name was... Uh, I can't think of his PSN right now, but his mother was yelling at him to get off. <laughs> so then I asked if we could talk, talk to his mom. His mom actually got on the phone. <laughs> then I said something like, hello, I'm my fate bringer, and we're trying to get your son to the flawless, I think is what I said. You sounded but, like you were pitching a, a multi-million dollar business. Yeah, you sounded amazing. like you were wearing a suit, yeah. and you were at their front door, you had just knocked, and the mom answered, and you were like, uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm here to, uh, my name is I, Fatebringer, and I'm here to escort your son to the lighthouse. Uh, maybe you didn't say escort. I would say, you're really fun. pushing this Fatebringer as an escort thing. I am, I am. <laughs> I just wanted to throw it in there one more time. <laughs> it was... Sorry, it, we it was interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, oh, it, the whole the whole idea of the story was, you know, afterwards we just could not stop getting giving fate a hard time because he sounded so professional to the kid's mom and to the point where she was like, "Uh, yeah, okay, he can stay on a little longer." It was funny cuz you could hear her go from like pissed and like the kid was like, "Mom, they want to talk to you." And she was like, "Uh, okay." And like was like still pissed at him. But after after fate gave like his whole speech, you could you could like, you know, you can hear people smiling. You could like tell she was like <laughs> amused by it. Was like, all right, he gets you know ten minutes or whatever. And we thought, and the best part is, we thought he had the kid had like I think two matches left. Uh, he told us after those two that he never popped boons, and so we told her <laughs> yeah. like ten or fifteen minutes, and it was three matches. Oh my so God. yeah, he started getting yelled at again, but we did get him to the lighthouse, yes. which is incredible. That's amazing. And he immediately <laughs> was gone, and I've never heard from him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so amazing i i that's like my most treasured memory of fate like i don't think anything can top that ever <laughs> and i mean there were all kinds of jokes in chat and just nonsense it was just really funny i think wilson started talking about like <laughs> he was wilson was going my mom would have bought boone's fate my mom would have been ready to go to the lighthouse <laughs> it, was, it was a good time so yeah the mom whisperer Love That's it. probably my favorite memory of Destiny One. It's absolutely mine. I've, I mean, it was. <laughs> it's. It still sounds funny to tell the story, but like, it's one of those things you just had to be there. Just the way it came about was unbelievable. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, we want to get to some community questions soon, but before we do that, uh, let's talk about the dawning. We got. We're on week two now, I think, and uh, you know, just do a little checkup on. Our masterworks weapons, our mayhem uh, it, uh, endeavors. Uh, I, for me personally, I feel like the dawning has me sucked into doing those little gift events, the daily ones. I haven't really done the weekly ones this week, but I started doing the daily ones every day because it's not that big of a time commitment, and you get kind of immediate rewards every day if you do them. And it's kind of a PVE grind, and I thought it was going to be a bigger grind than it really is. But if you have the ghost shell that like looks for the material on the location that you need it to go to to gather the stuff for that day's gift, then it's like really easy to go and gather enough, especially which if you don't know this, if you're having trouble finding that material, equip a sniper rifle and use one of those ghosts to find you that material. Because if you zoom in with a sniper rifle, all the material shows up that's in that area immediately. And so it's easy to like go find it. It's huh. a little thing that worked in D1. And I didn't realize it until I had a scout rifle on and I zoomed in while I had the ghost equipped and all these icons showed up on my screen. I was like, wait, 
that's still a thing. And so I immediately equipped a sniper rifle and it is, it is still a thing. So that will help you out on your daily events for sure. If you're trying to get those dawning things, but it's great because I shaders are my end game, as many of you know, and you for sure get like two shaders every time you turn one of those in. And one of them is like a goldish blackish shader that looks awesome. And there isn't really one like it. So yeah. That's what I've been doing for the Donnie and stuff. <laughs> Haven't got any new Masterworks stuff. Uh, what about you guys? I didn't get a no? single new Masterworks this past week. I got I got new Masterworks stuff, just nothing that I wanted. I dismantled them all, oh, yeah, and I, I have the one. opportunity. I can make another one that's like going to be my go-to, you know, but I just haven't decided what I want to put it into yet because I definitely want either my Fusion Rifle or my uh, Mananan. So, I still don't have a Mananan. You still have not Mananan. So have you used the Mananan yet? The Omelon Scout? Yeah, I like that one. I oh, that's so one. good. Listen, is it is it energy? Yeah, yeah it's energy. Perfect. I don't need it because I have a positive outlook with range. Um, so I got, I got That's one of those. Explosive rounds. I, who cares about explosive rounds? Um, I got one of those hand cannons that has the different recoil pattern. Oh, finally, yeah. I only used it for literally like, I don't know, thirty. It's seconds. weird, right? I didn't like it. Maybe I just fate, got used got, to have it. Have you got one of those, Fate? Yeah, I did. I didn't really what? like it either. It, it just feels weird. too weird. Yeah. It, I wonder. It seems to like, to me at least, it seemed to really um obscure your your view like when it comes back instead of going up it seems i don't know i don't like it you can see my hand waving <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what you're doing <laughs> i was so instead of it going this way it goes this forget it <laughs> <laughs> uh, i just realized too i'm like sw- i have a swivel chair now and this i switched offices that i'm podcasting from and i've been swiveling like this entire time i'm sorry you're, if allowed, I'm, you're allowed to swivel no, you're sorry allowed. if i'm disorienting anyone no uh, just your face <laughs> um i yeah i wonder if with those hand cans if you need to like give it more time to like get used to it before it feels good because i felt weird about the palindrome in d1 um and didn't like it at first when everybody was all on board with it and i wonder if maybe this is one of those things where like once i gave it time it was fine that sounded really natural i feel like it's not the first time that you ever said just give it more time it'll start to feel good is it it's not the first time (laughs) like not Firm or deny these things. <laughs> um, I do. I do just want to bring up though uh, on the topic of the dawning. I found someone who um, really enjoys spending money to get things from the dawning. Yes, oh. I spent forty dollars so far. <laughs> <laughs> and have you gotten what you want? No. <laughs> oh no! What are you? What are you going for right now? I'm trying to get a full set of Hunter Donning gear. Oh, Hunter Don. You're not going for anything else? No. Mm. <laughs> I got one See, of the... The that... gear is really good with the Donning because it has max recovery. It makes me want to buy oh. it even more than just the way it looks because the stats right. are really good on the armor. Right. See, and that's like I was saying to Fate when he brought that up. That That like makes me even more mad. That's even worse. Yeah, like all the hunter gear has mobility and they're like, oh, look, here's finally some with recovery. You got to buy it. OK, so let's talk about this topic for a second, particularly see for me, it's not even so much. Yes, it is. It is a problem with like the you got to buy it stuff, but it's also a specific problem to hunter gear uh, in particular. And ghost shell gear is another one because you can get exotic ghosts from the dawning uh, from, you know, eververse that have like increased stats you know that are way better than the other ghosts and i just got today actually for my dawning uh gift thing i got a ghost that had 40 meters rather than 30 for finding chests which i thought was interesting and it was just a legendary um so basically from eververse you can get ghosts that have better material stuff um but that's the only place you can find ghosts anyway i guess so it doesn't really matter (laughs) but Uh, that's that's just like i wish that there was more variety of stuff out in the wild from different places especially for hunter gear and like recovery and stuff that was kind of the second thing the thing that i really wanted to bring up was why doesn't armor randomly roll like i don't i don't understand why that's not a thing you don't have random rolls anymore lego we're not allowed i just (laughs) they were taken away but they're, they're getting it back with masterworks we're getting random 
more stuff on things. And it's kind of, I, I don't know. I just feel like that should, out of all things that should have random rolls, that's the thing that makes the most sense because you you, we different. don't have a transmog system, you know, uh, like we want to look the way we want to look, but stats are getting in the way. And that is really frustrating. Yeah, I agree. Also, that's one of the main things I miss from. Sorry. Say, say what, say? Oh, oh, that's one of the most things I miss about D1 is just at the end of like any activity, you have a chance of getting a, either a really good weapon or a mm -hmm. really bad weapon. And just having the chance of getting a god roll weapon was making it fun. To, yeah. Like, keep playing oh, I love play. that. Is there anything that you're chasing right now? Because you play a lot of PvP. Do you feel like you have everything, or is there something in particular that you're going for? No, I have everything I want right now besides the donning gear. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, like, that's a... Weapon-wise, I don't have anything to go for anymore. <laughs> See, I, that's a bad place to be, I feel like. And for me, I have stuff... I, I don't play as much uh, PvP as you do, um, but like I still have stuff to chase for. And I don't know if it's because of that or what, but like for me, uh, ornaments are a big thing. And so particularly I like the trowels gear ornaments. And so I've been going completing those cards specifically that entices me to play every weekend just because I'm like, Hey, I want that chess piece ornament for trials. Cause it looks so different, but you have to have uh, seven card completions. And so like that pushes me to play the game you know, to get the thing and play that specific activity, which I like. That's great loot incentive, you know, and that'll last for a little while for me, at least, you know, potentially till the next expansion. We'll see. Um, but then another one was like complete objectives and trials or, you know, uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I named the one for the helmet. That's the seven wins one. The one for the chess piece is it's really long. It's like complete win 25 games of survival and win 25 games of countdown in trials. So 50 total games uh, and have a flawless completion too on top of all that. And that is a great like grind to get things done. That's a lot of wins you got to get. So I like that a lot. Um, but I know if you play PVP all the time, especially if you're helping out trials with other, for other people and you're streaming, it's like, you're going to get that done pretty quick. I know that there could be more to grind for still. I'm just glad there's something in there. That's particularly what I'm chasing for. Yeah, I really like how they added that into the game. Like, even the Crucible Handler, it's not that difficult, but you can see that they're trying to implement more of that stuff. Yeah. But, like, the Helm, you have to have win, like, 25 competitive games, I think. Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's just armor ornaments. Hmm. I, I think that's really cool. And Kuch and I were talking about how we really like that. I like it a lot, actually. Nice. Like, even the Vanguard has um, yeah. those things. And the Raid, too. The Raid. Yeah, the Raid there. one is, like, prestige completion. Is it, does it have prestige stuff you need to do or something like that? I can't remember. It should, because otherwise the... there's no reason to do prestige. <laughs> yeah, you have to do the challenges on prestige mode in order to mm. unlock it. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Too. unfortunately i could not possibly care any less about ornaments so that one's out the window for me mm. is there any so there's nothing you're chasing right now huh other than a mananan i want a mananan do 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 and i want um i want some of my other weapons masterworks i got like a masterworks on the fusion rifle um i forget what it's called it's one of the fr4 ones um oh you did uh yeah it's the one that um Oh, you want one on it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. one of the things I want. Um, <clears throat> what else do I really like that I like? I mean, some of the weapons I'd still like to get one. Like, Oh, I also don't have an Antiope. Uh, oh, gosh, man, you're I, missing out. Or Masterworks one. Uh, I'd like a Masterworks Better Devils. I mean, mostly Masterworks stuff, so it's kind of random chases. Mm -hmm. You know, not that I'm grinding for. I'm just kind of hoping that they drop, and I cuss out Raul every time they don't. <laughs> um. <laughs> But no, it's still, you know, it's a reason to play. I like seeing, you know, one of the things I really like about the strike is when you finish it, you see a whole bunch of shit pop up on the right, kind of like old school, and that makes me happy. Even though it's like, they, it couldn't have just said like five coins, they had to pop up like one at a time. It's still like, I'm a small child, so I'm really I do like the way that. they did that. Yeah, it's you know. good. So, uh, yeah. Fate, is there something like for you uh some weapon that you really like that you're still trying to get masterworks or are you done chasing that stuff as well 
No, I, I, I'm pretty good with all the masterwork stuff at this point because I play a lot of Mayhem Set. this past like few weeks, uh -huh. and every game you get a ton of like armor materials, like it turns to the gunsmith. That's what the chairs what they're called, and I get a ton of masterwork stuff from that. Uh, okay, so I have a nice little stockpile of masterwork stuff. Yeah, what they're called. That makes sense. Yeah, I got yeah. another stupid SMG. That was the only one I got this week, and I deleted it. I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty much all I got for the dawning, unless you guys have anything to add. Because there's no real news this week. I just kind of wanted to check up and see if you guys were chasing anything in the dawning. Obviously, Fate is still chasing, both with his money and with playing the game. <laughs> the ornaments and yeah we've discussed before the problems of eververse and i don't want to dive into that again because we just did it last week and the week before so yeah let's skip to something else that is a little more interesting i feel like and that is there was a leak yes a you're let me talk about it leak. absolutely yeah we got to talk about it so uh if you don't want to know anything you can feel free to skip ahead probably like 10 minutes um but yeah, I just wanted to talk about it for a second. A lot there's a big Reddit post basically about it. A bunch of people posting uh, pictures from the PlayStation Store. Um, in I think it was in Japanese and in English. There were two different versions of it. Um, and yeah, Hove, tell tell me a little bit about it since you're the one who's so excited. Want to want to hear it from your mouth? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're right. It was the U.S. and Japanese PSN stores. But basically, um, this leak, which as Lego pointed out time and time again, it's still a leak. We don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it's from the PSN store, which, keep in mind, Curse of Osiris leaked from the Xbox store, which turned out to be real. Um, so anyway, it's the second expansion, supposedly called Gods of Mars. Uh, it's going to take place on a new explorable area called the Frigid Vale of Mars. And it's going to yeah. involve Charlemagne, the other... Mm -hmm. War mine that we thought was dead, correct? Rasputin was supposed to be the last one active and around. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Think so. You, we, we don't have a non pig on, so can't really. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of like rhetorical. We thought Charlemagne was dead. Um, she reawakened and apparently has imprisoned Rasputin. So we got to go fight a war mine and save Rasputin and blah, blah, blah. And there's supposed to be a new enemy faction. I forget what they're called. Um, can't was, remember. And there's Anna Brace supposed to come into the picture as well, who's Which, also supposedly dead. Yeah, and that was one just last week I wanted or whatever whenever we talked about it, that was who I said I wanted to like hear about was Anna Brace. Yeah. So that's really cool. She's a badass gunslinger. Um also they're called Charlemagne's Remnants, supposedly. And Which what what could that even be if if that you know what what do you envision what do y'all envision for that if it is you know if any of this is true we like to imagine things on Resocast. so what do you what do y'all think if if there is a new enemy type it's hmm. probably going to be reskinned something <laughs> <laughs> no in all seriousness i don't i don't see them making it an entirely new race for a middle of the year expansion like, I would think that would be saved more for, like, a Taken king size expansion, wouldn't you? Like, a totally new race? Yeah, I would. Yeah. That's what honestly makes me discredit it a little bit. But at the same time, you know, around this expansion is when people start dying off if not a lot of changes are made. And so if you introduce a big change, like a new enemy race, I feel like that would bring a lot of people back in and be like, what, are, what is this? Especially since in D2, we didn't get a new enemy race at all, you know, with a whole new game, period. Yeah. And so if they brought in something new, and for me, I'll go ahead and answer the question for myself. Um, it makes me think of, if it's like remnants of a war mine, like that makes me think of like, what is it? Uh... After Halo Reach, I guess Halo 4 was it that they brought in like the the Promethean like creatures that are like all robotic and stuff, uh, which nobody felt like that Halo got a bad rap. But um, 
I, I that's what I picture is like some sort of like robotic creatures that like not Siva because that's like half robotic, half something else. I'm yeah. I'm talking like all cyborg something, which is something we haven't really seen. And I guess you could say the Vex are kind of like that, but they're half organic too in a way. So I don't know. Maybe that's too Vexy. Maybe I'm going going the wrong direction. You're but Vexy. Fate, fate, what do you think? <laughs> um, I have no idea. I yeah, actually, um, we'll just have to see. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till it's in the crucible and then I'll try it out, whatever it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to say about it. I just wanted to bring up that leak because it is a thing. I guess another big thing is like having a new location is pretty big. Um, which would fit in what we've gotten so far, you know, having the new location of Mercury. Um, so that is a potential. If it is a new location like Mercury, what I would like is for there to be a little more space. Like, I like how big Mercury is. I just wish that in patrol, I could go to the past or the future in patrol. Right. Like, that would have made it, like, yeah. huge. And that space is available. And and I, I can appreciate what they did, though, that they reserved it for the story missions. And that makes it, like... I don't know, special for the story. And I get that. Uh, and so, but I, I still f feel like I would prefer if it was in the patrol zone for me to go to the past um, of Mercury because it looks so dang cool. And it would be yes, awesome if there were patrols there. So, um, One of the things with the way this is, is phrased on here, it says, with the help from Anna Bray, players must free Rasputin, defeat Charlemagne, and uncover the secrets of Clovis Bray, which they could do some really cool shit because we've been hearing about Clovis Bray since, you know, early days of D1. Mm -hmm. So that would be really neat. Is Clovis Bray also, um, is there hints of Anna Bray, or is there hints of Clovis Bray, Anna Bray in the tower in that new, in that secret vent spot? Is that somebody else? Or is um, that, I, think I can't remember. I think it's a Bray but I don't remember if it was Anna Bray. Because they were talking about it for a faction, uh, potentially, but nothing has come of it yet. There's just, like, hints of, you know... I, I just can't remember if that was the right... If I'm thinking of the right thing or if I'm getting two things mixed up together. I'm no, so you're bad. you're right. It was uh, the Dido Dado room. Um, and I forget what exactly it says. I know. Me too. Um uh, we can, we can move on from it. I, I'm so ridiculously bad at lore. I don't want to harp on it too long. And none of this information, you know, is for sure. But I think it'd be pretty exciting if it was. To get a new place and new enemies, that that all sounds great. That'd be really cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely energize my interests and everyone else's in D2 for that matter. And I don't say that in a... Like, I say that sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll get on the cast and I'll say, like oh, this is getting me really into Destiny or back into Destiny. It's not that I'm not playing Destiny, and I think this goes the same for Hove, too. Like, uh, Fate can attest, you know, we do get on uh, and play. It's just like, you know, you want Destiny to be the thing that you're playing, like, every single night, and sometimes that isn't that for me, but when new stuff comes out, it's like, oh, my gosh, like, I got to play this. Like, right now I'm playing Dawning events at least daily, uh, and then sometimes all night mayhem, depending. So it is. It is yeah. Anna Bray, by the way. It is Anna Bray. Okay. Yeah, it says uh, looks like a journal, Anna Bray, but I can't tell who. Pretty much the entire thing is redacted, and their whole page is missing. Something about all this seems wrong. That's what your ghost says when you inspect it. Yeah, interesting. Well, one more lore thing. Since we're on the topic, uh, his fury um, put out a tweet that was really interesting this week. A uh, fellow Resolute member also has been on the show before. Um, but he had a tweet about the cosmic ghosts that you can get from the dawning event. And in it, uh, in the lore for it, if you inspect the lore for the cosmic ghost, uh, you can see that it's from Ephrodite and talks about what she's been up to uh, and her return to the tower or return back to the guardians, basically. And hmm. I don't know. It was really interesting. Worth checking out that the description. I Because I, I know the other week we had talked about who is your most interesting person and somebody brought up Ephrodite. And so there is it some, Marcus? it might've been Marcus. Um, I, it might've been Mana too. I can't remember, but Who's Mana? yeah, Ephrodite, uh, has, has some info out there in some of the Dawning lore. So go check it out. 
last sort of dawning related mm. thing right before i got off like fate after you even left i got one of the exotic ships from a dawning engram so that was neat uh, oh very nice is it one of the ones that looks all uh like vexy or no uh, it's no. i don't know it's shiny <laughs> <laughs> oh so great at describing things I don't remember what it looks like. I looked at it for like a second and I had to sign off. Because some of them look so cool from the Donnie. Like they look like they should be raid ships and you're like, oh gosh, why is... Oh, that, I mean, they can't be raid ships because there are no more raid ships. There's only I know. Dawning ships. I know. Which but if you I, want it, you can pay a bunch of money ship. and probably not get it. Also, I want to throw out there too, like while there hasn't been updates as far as, uh, you know, this week at Bungie's or anything like that, um, some of the devs have been tweeting out info um and christopher barrett uh aka Orx, has been tweeting out a lot of stuff recently about like uh i think it was a few days ago it might have been last week the end of last week but he posted like hey these are the things like you know you can look forward to like just just random stuff that's just like little tidbits of what's to come and it's always really exciting like you know i think we talked about before um, armor ornaments coming soon. And just like, seems like they're always working on something for the live team. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a lot to look forward to. It's just all very vague right now. And I'm sure we'll find out in the coming weeks what's going on. One of them tweeted out, um, God, his name escapes me right now. The guy who's filling in for Cosmo. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He tweeted out, you know, like he's been saying, you know, we're on break. Nothing's being said, but we're still listening. I sound like a broken record, I know. But here are some of the things that we've noticed. And it was like, uh, it wasn't saying whether they were good or bad, but it was like mayhem, uh, faction rewards, um, Eververse, like things that they've heard us talking about and gave us a mm -hmm. list of about 10 things. So that was cool. Yeah, I agree. I think I think good things are on the way. Uh, so looking forward to that that uh i especially looking forward to if they release like a hey this is what's next these are the dates kind of like they did for the dawning that was really awesome and really encouraging so oh and everybody keeps saying all the devs like we know communication is important we know we need to prove what we say and they keep repeating that over and over again and so i think they're really going to deliver i'm excited about it yeah me too uh so now that's out of the way i'm really excited to get to some community questions oh we don't Fate. have any that's not true i'm just kidding we have a ton. <laughs> I saw them. I read them. I know it's true. You're the Twitter boss, but I know. I know these. You what, can't hide did, these things. What did you just say one more time? You're the you're the Twitter boss. Yes, but I I'm am. the podcast boss, so just saying. Well, it's Twitter time, so I'm in charge. <laughs> um, so first question is from Darth Loki. He wants to know, this one's for Fate, how bad was the river modifier while playing Trials the other week? <laughs> okay, so some... The story behind that was last weekend, Trials of Osiris was on Distant Shore. It was survival. And I, mean, I have a, two friends that I do carries with I, like every weekend. One of them's name is Noisy Shark 78 and the other one, we just call him Z because he has a whole bunch of numbers in his name. They don't <laughs> make pretty much sense. But anyways, we were I was going through my friends list and I was seeing who has never been flawless yet. And I saw she was never flawless. So then I invited her. And we just matched stack team after stack team, and it was <laughs> terrible. We we couldn't win more than two games in a row. But it was still a lot of fun, though. I kind of feel bad. I want to try that again with her. Yeah. This weekend. I yeah, I need. Flawless. I I want an invite to that uh to that showdown if if it's possible. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll be sure to invite you. <laughs> So it wasn't so the river modifier basically martyr the Mortify. river modifier basically just like puts you against stack teams is all is all it does. <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> we were super unlucky. Oh my gosh. Put puts you against hard teams and uh makes you laugh a lot while in the process, huh? Yeah, it was a ton of fun <laughs> experience. Sounds like a good deal. All right, next question is from Watts ND. It says, hey, Fatebringer, remember that time in D1 when I saw you cross the map and got excited and waved and immediately got sniped? <laughs> no? Well, no big deal. No, real question. You probably didn't see me wave then, so just saying hi now. That's it. <clears throat> hey, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That reminds me, actually, of I was playing with Vita, uh, 
the other day, who's someone that I know from Twitter and from somewhere else too, I think. And uh, we randomly played trials the other night. I think it was with Mighty Guy. I can't remember. And when we were playing though, casually it just came up like, oh yeah, remember I ran into you in Rumble like in D1 and this happened. And I was like, oh yeah. Because I said, I had told him uh, like, hey man, yeah, sorry, my friend's playing right now because he like, message me like hey we're in the same green like in the same game right now and all this stuff and i messaged him back like through my phone because my friend was playing hey it's actually not me right now sorry if you know i'm not you know a good opponent right now because the guy had never played destiny before and he was like how do i throw a grenade and, like you know not knowing what he was doing and then i was like well here let me show you and i took the controller and immediately got like three snipes in a row on vita and he was like holy crap well your friend's pretty good for starting out right now and i was like no it's i just showed him a few things this is, this is not him. <laughs> never mind you know <laughs> awkward conversations all right next question maverick 045 asks on a scale of one to soar back approximately how many carries have you done at least a hundred. That's a sore back. Man. He means this week he did a hundred. <laughs> My one says they're carries. I'm our healthies. I don't like the word carry. Okay, help. <laughs> how many healthies? That I don't like this. I don't like this word. We should go back to carries. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, over a hundred. I used to play with D one every weekend. M picky zero zero eight, and I would do. Wait, I said carries. <laughs> And we would do pretty long streams, actually, and we were successful most of the time. <laughs> that was a oh. lot of fun, too. That's awesome. All right, next question from Big Tater Tot. How many moms can you hit on during a single trials run? <laughs> so far, only one. No, <laughs> I was hoping there were multiple, and we are going to hear another story just now. <laughs> All right, next question from Matt Grundy. How are you supposed to respond when someone sends you an invite who is vastly superior to you skill wise is immediately shutting off your PlayStation and fright an appropriate response. <laughs> I feel bad if that actually happened. Um, no, you should always add if you're going to play with someone that quote unquote better than you. I think that you should just play with them either way. Agreed. Bruce. Hopefully I worded that right. <laughs> 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 all right uh another one from big tater tot which this is including mana and triton which one of the hosts would you bang my bet is oh, on leg out oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right um hostile galaxy says if you could bring any weapon from d1 into d2 what would it be Ooh, the last word Mm, that's a good one. Interesting. It was like just in fun. Your, it was yeah, really for fun. sure. Like in year one and year two, that's like the only weapon I would use. It was the last word sniper was just really fun. I always did that. Mm -hmm. I, I man, can you imagine that gun in in D two? Like if it like what would it even look like? What how would it operate? You know, it'd be fine the same way. I don't. I think right. I, geez, I think so. It just the damage would just be a little different. Yeah, I could see that. That would be fun. I mean, I know everybody complains about oh, res model reskin, you know, all this stuff. But I, I think that would be pretty fun because oh, yeah. last word's so freaking unique. Like, there's nothing like it. I yeah, I'm with you definitely. What do you, What do you think about that fate? Do you What do you feel about like weapons returning from D one? Um, I think the Mida was kind of a mistake. In my opinion, because a lot of people like there's other weapons that are much better than the Mida, but people still use the Midas because it's familiar to them. Yeah. Because they've been using it for the past like three years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess um, I guess that's my problem too, is like it's just the initial, like having exotics return right away, you know. If they would have saved it for at least the first expansion or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. I was like the second day when destiny 2 came out i was playing with one of my friends he works at bungie and he already had the mida and i didn't even know that the mida was in the game yet the same thing happened to me yes oh it was really highlight already that didn't happen to me sad 
Um, okay, here's one for as time progress. I don't really see very many people using the Mida anymore. Like mm -hmm. on rare yeah. occasion, you'll see it used a lot, but it's a good gun still. But I'm glad that people are branching out. And again, yeah. I think that's a testament to the the variety of guns that can be used. I do think part of it too, like River actually just said in chat, Mida was super easy to get right off the bat. Yeah. And it was highlight, so everyone was going for it for light. You know what I mean? Like it was, I, I wasn't a fan of the way they put it into the game. Yeah. But awesome. what I am a fan of is having the mini tool, like uh, as a thing, uh, you, you know, a, as a gun. As a mini tool. There's, you have a mini tool. A mi what is it called? The, the Mida the, mini tool, but you just Mida said yeah. I like yeah. having a mini. Never mind. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but I, I, I really do think that's a cool idea. And I, I like that there's like a combo like that. And I don't know, it's just, just a fun variation of the gun. Maybe like if only they would have given us that first and then the Mida came back or something. But how would you do that? Because they kind of go together. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I just want to throw out that I like that. I think it's cool. I did too. I thought that was neat. All right. We got one on Twitter from someone who is in chat. Uh, from Rachel at Grim Altair 24. Hope you're doing well, Tyler. If you could name one big thing that Destiny has done for you, what is it? And since the obvious answer is you got to meet Lego, um, we have to ask for a different answer. Oh, thank you, Hope. <laughs> I was going to say uh, the amount of friends I met online through Destiny community. Um... I'm with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that too. Uh, I was just thinking today about how cool it is to, because Hove got to play last night. Was that last night? I think it was last night um, with one of my college roommates. Or hmm. well, I didn't actually live with him, but he lived with all the other guys that I knew. Um, and so he got to play with one of my good college friends, who I'm still friends with. And now he's like meeting someone that I played Destiny with, and like my worlds were colliding. And that's just like so cool that like you have these friends that are on equal levels of friends that you've grown up with like for me to have that those things inter intersect and you're like oh wow like this is you know these are all like my legitimate friends in an equal way and destiny brought all of that together and i don't know that's a really cool to think about you sound like a dave matthews song <laughs> worlds collide and not in a bad way yeah not yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I was gonna go with another song joke, but I didn't want to push push it too far. No, let's hear it. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. I was, I was gonna go like Beatles come together, and you know. Yeah, you went too far. Know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mason asks, "What do you think of the state of the game right now?" Tyler, he For, says. Personally, I really like the state of the game, but that's my opinion. And judging by the destiny tracker player population, they have a different opinion than I do, <laughs> but I actually really do like it. And mayhem was a really good implement to mm. bring players back, but yeah. And I, you, you know, uh, fate, I think that, you know, the player population doesn't tell the full story of state of the game. As far as like play wise, it might, uh, I think that that's like a part of it maybe for some people, but I think a, a bigger part of it is the incentive stuff that, you know, keeps getting brought up in end game and that kind of stuff. Cause other than, you know, if you put in game and incentives aside, like the game itself is still super fun to play as you yeah. pointed out, like you're not really chasing anything right now, but you still think the game's fun. And so you're playing it. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. That's all I got. I'm out. That's all you got. He's done. Uh, done. Well, Twitter boss. I is think. Done. I think uh, podcast boss might be done too because there is no news this week, uh, and there's nothing else to talk about. Uh, I but I enjoyed hanging out with you guys, talking some D two, um, talking out what what we have. To, I, I guess we don't. You know what we have to look forward to is one more week of the dawning, one more week of mayhem, um, and I'm looking forward to playing some more games of that. Hopefully. Fatebringer will get all of his Hunter Dawning gear that he is searching for. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, we'll see. But Fate, it's been so good to have you on the show, man. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me. What are you guys uh, doing for you look... New Year's? Oh, you look like you had something to say. I knew it. I do. <laughs> uh, New Year's is I coming. Have... Doing anything fun? I... Yeah, my my guitarist for our band, it's his birthday on the 31st. So that is what he's... He normally, he's really into 
like Irish things. Like, uh, and so I'm sure there will be like last party I went to, he had like whiskey infused sugar cookies. So I'm pretty sure that is what my New Year's Eve is going to look like. You don't want to hear stories about me with whiskey infused food. And <laughs> <laughs> um, and Marcus, thank you. Marcus and chat said, we forgot to wish people a Merry Christmas last week. Make sure to wish them a happy new year, which I'm ahead of you, Marcus. I got this. I don't, I don't need you. Um, but now, well, how about you? Uh, now, now everyone on Twitter got me calling you Tyler. <laughs> it's fate, people. It's fate. And this is this isn't Hove. This is Hovey. So. No, I am not. <laughs> no. For those who don't know, fate continues to call Hove Hovey, like even though he yeah. knows Com- it's Hove, which I love. I love so. Thank you, fate. Never stop. What's weird about that is I call Hove Hovey, right? But whenever I was streaming with Hovey, I was calling him Hove. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's kind of reversed. <laughs> never stop i love it <laughs> but yeah what what about you for for new year's fate oh um <laughs> probably just stay home relax i guess not yeah watch the twilight zone uh marathon on sci-fi anybody do that does anybody do that nobody I, does that i've done that so many times <laughs> i'm such an introvert i'm like yeah i mean Sci-Fi's got Twilight Zone on all new, night. New season of Black Mirror out. Oh, that's right. No, I just my wife just mentioned that before I came into her podcast. I'm so excited. Black Mirror is awesome and terrible. Like it's terribly depressing. Don't don't watch it if you want to be it's in a good. It's so mood. depressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's great. Like <laughs> it, it it so touches on things that really happen and just take them to like it's creepy. Yeah. So so what are you doing, Hove? You don't want to know. I probably shouldn't talk about it on this podcast. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, I don't know. Probably just got out with some friends. Um, going to some sort of bar. That that's about it. That's as far as that's as far as we'll get here. The rest <laughs> the rest Triton will tell us about later. Triton will uh, come. He never comes out with us. <laughs> uh well, thank y'all all for joining us for Rezocast episode sixty six. This has been Lego Lego Lay Flash. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube at Lego L E Flash. Hove, where can they find you? Um, well, I just want to also point out we're now 10 episodes away from Dongcast 76. Um, oh, my so, you gosh. Know. Uh, but, yeah, you can find me at Twitter, Twitch, and maybe possibly YouTube in the near future because of that Humble Bundle that had Sony Vegas Pro for $20. So I feel like now I need to make a YouTube video. What a steal, man. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, so Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, um, Hove76, H-O-V-7-6. Fate, how about Fate. you? You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube by searching iFateBringer. And Snapchat is TylerCO16. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Check he just out. added me on Snapchat right before the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again. And thank you all to those who listen. You can find more about Team Resolute at TeamResolute.com or at Team Resolute on Twitter. And you can find more. Uh, or hear more from Rezocast at Rezocast on Twitter. And thank you so much for listening, hanging out with us on stream. And uh, if you're on iTunes, feel free to leave us a review. We would absolutely love for you to leave us a review. Tell us what you think. Tell us how terrible Hove's ideas are. My ideas and are the best, but it would be super helpful. Triton and Mana for not being here. We'd love uh, you even more than usual if you leave <laughs> us reviews. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this week. Until next time, guys. GG. GG. GG.